Dragon Ball Super. Are the universe this fighters a disappointment? And so for this video, I am joined by... What's up guys? Dimzy from Dimzy Domain. Great to be here. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for ha I'm happy you're here. But uh, <laughs> today, I feel like we should talk, we were going to be talking about is that are the universe this fighters a disappointment? And we're going to talk about them in order they fought in the tournament. So we're going to first talk about Botamo. Ah, uh, disappointment. So I think we're going to be speaking more about the combat ability. Yeah, like, so, was it visually when we were sitting there watching it, were you kind of like, this okay. is lame? Cool, so character design aside, you know, the Winnie the Pooh is a shit-ass design. But um, I liked, I actually really did like and enjoyed the new power, that power that his ability to tank any move. But because he couldn't showcase it as, as much as he wanted to, and he had that mouth key blast. He came across ultimately very, very weak with a very high defensive barrier. Yeah. But because Goku never really went into Super Saiyan blue form. Um, or even Super Saiyan. Yeah, or, or, yeah or, or Super Saiyan. Like, you know, it wasn't tested how strong it was. And at the same time, to find such a easy way to beat him. Yeah. He, he was a massive disappointment in my eyes. What about you? Yeah, I, I agree completely. I mean, it just... When you're looking for a fight, you're looking for an actual fight. All Goku did was punch him, fire Kamehameha, pick him up, and throw him out of the ring. Yeah. I just summarized the entire fight in, like, a sentence. I mean, but that's then not again, a good thing. The fight did last only half an episode anyway. Yeah, which also made it even more disappointing. So, yeah, he was a flop. Let's move on to our Universe 6 version of Frieza. Oh, God, uh... Putting aside my feeling towards the character, Brock was pretty disappointing because it was revealed, of course, that he only won his matches due to a weapon. Yeah, it, it really does demean the fact that, May, I thought you were kind of strong, but you're kind of a weakling. You, why do you need a third party poison to win? However, that poison was very effective and it was yeah. cunning, so. Uh, it's about. I, I I couldn't stand the whole him reverting back to Frieza again. I, I it just really annoyed me, man. Yeah. It was like we just had Frieza. Yeah, and even the way he fights is just his transformation. Every uh, we kind of have to talk about the design with this, just because the last arc was red direction of that. <laughs> but see, it just I felt like I was watching a fight I've already seen. See, I kind of don't have a problem with the character design itself. So I have no problem with that. My main point was, maybe it was partly because he was voiced by the same voice actor who done Frieza, yeah. but he was showing flares of Frieza's character even before the reveal. And then when yeah. he found out that, oh, he's actually very evil, it was anticlimactic and it really didn't work. But he did eliminate Goku. And he caused intrigue and he did give a bit of, not suspense, but... Yeah. A shock factor to the actual fighting in general. Yeah, so, I mean, I was blown away when Goku lost. I was blown. Yeah, but then, you. But then at the same time, you knew that it's gonna be. Um, he's gonna come back. Yeah, I mean, what at least once they were revealed that Frost had been cheating. Yeah. Uh, but, but so I mean, I wouldn't say Frost was disappointing. I get, I get that with say Frost would just. It's a, it's a hit or miss character. Like, you're either going to really like him or you're going to be, like, so lame. I, I think and I think it's a complete miss. I think he was a flop in the sense of um, they had the opportunity to go with the fact that, you know, Frieza never trained for, it, for like, a day in his life and Frost could have been the embodiment of someone. Someone training for all his life instead of four months, which could justify him being immensely strong but they did not go through that route that and, would have been so epic but and, so broken but they'd never done it that's the thing i the, mean the three that in four months got to the level of like of like a, the god tier characters i mean if dick if frost is the same as frieza and he trained all of his life i don't even want to know how strong he would be yeah and they had that opportunity because especially with goku and vegeta having trained three years in the hyperbolic time chamber so you had this immense character that is frost who because let's let's face it the only fighters that were interesting was goku and vegeta Majin Buu was out piccolo was just there for his cunningness although piccolo did give a very entertaining fight against frost um 
I sort of disagree, but I see where you're going at. Yeah, yeah. but no, but I'm gonna. I'm, I for me personally, Frost was a major letdown in terms of the Universe Six fight, and he was he was very weak. He shouldn't have been weak. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he should have been weak. He should have, I guess, just but he should have just been stronger, and he should have actually fought with his own power instead of cheating. Um, what's the next guy? The next um, guy was in line. What's Megeta? Now, Megeta is <sighs> an interesting case. I think, besides Hit, he had been the most interesting character. Agreed. I was I was going into this fight thinking, ah, oh, let's just get this Joe character, this metal version of Botama, this crap. I I wasn't invested in his character at all. Yeah, you know, when I but... first saw him in the manga, I was just like. I know. I I was like, this is whoever fights him. I'm probably not even gonna need to watch the episode. It's going to be so boring. It's gonna be half an episode, ten minutes into the episode, and he's gonna win. But yeah, one episode later, it took a full episode, and me, I was fully immersed into into Megeta. Yeah. At the same time, knowing how strong and how durable he is, because his his attacks could have severely hurt. Vegeta now. Yeah, now although, before we continue, I want to point this out. That there is a misconception that both Saiyans or Saiyans in the dub are weak to Lala. They're not. Yeah, it's just you know it's, it's mean, all about. I mean, Lala wasn't what made it dangerous. I mean, it wasn't like if Vegeta, if normal Lala hit Vegeta, he would burn. It it it's just, it was purely the fact that he depleted the oxygen by displacing the air. You know, some it's it's that um yeah. con- convection effect. Yeah. That you see, um, and he was disabling Vegeta's uh, advantages and his ability to really excel, and also in a confined space, and that's how Megeta was having the advantage. But the fact is, the creativity shown by Megeta's fighting style was was out of this world. And for me, I don't need to even discuss it anymore. For me, he was he was amazing. He was excellently strong, adequately strong. Yeah. Although the little gag at the end about him being weak to insults, I love Megeta. He yeah. was a really good plus for me yeah. for the Universe 16. I feel like he was good. He suffered. I'm only, but, but my only gripe with Magetta is really that he suffered from the same flaw. Really, every opponent here besides Hit have had, I guess, fallen for, which is the fact that they're they're all like up there with Goku and Vegeta, but all they're only at their le- the level of Goku and Vegeta if they're using Super Saiyan. Yeah, that's. <sighs> That's annoying, and I guess that's the best way to digress onto our next guy, who was the first opponent to experience Super Saiyan Blue. Yes, Kaba. Now, in my opinion, I think Kaba was a disappointment. Hmm, that's interesting. In terms of in terms of like the fight he delivered, I mean, because was that even? Could you, did you even really call that a fight? It was a schoolboy lesson. That's why it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, he didn't really bring anything interesting to the table. The thing, the thing, the thing uh, I liked about Kyabe is um, Kabe Kyabe. Oof, it's weird to pronounce, yeah. but I like the fact that he didn't know what super the Super Saiyan transformation was, but they kind of pushed home the fact that he's a prodigy in terms of learning the moves. He done the Gallic Gun, and then he became a Super Saiyan. But the way he became a Super Saiyan was a bit cheap. But then again, who it isn't was also, a su- let's be honest, Nesta Gohan, the worst Super Saiyan transformation in the franchise. Yeah, that's something, but, but the thing is, who isn't a Super Saiyan anymore? If you're saying you will be a Super Saiyan, it's not that hard to yeah. attain the first the first grade of the whole Super Saiyan tier. True. But, but the thing is, um, what he was trying to accomplish in the whole long running, and I know you said that he was a disappointment, I disagree, and I think he was a... It was a good plus because he had the opportunity to expand the storyline by yeah. by fleshing out Vegeta's character, giving Vegeta to develop, giving him a platform to develop by by um, Vegeta taking him as a student. Yeah. So it really worked. I think it really yeah, worked. Yeah, and I feel like the st- as you're talking about the storyline and the character of Kaba is very interesting, but I feel like the character failed was delivering a good fight. Yeah, okay, in the combat you know, ability is... Let's be honest here. That, wa- that wasn't a fight. If Vegeta, if Vegeta even did it at the end, if Vegeta had wanted to end it, to end the fight, it would have been over the second he wanted to end it. Okay, fine, that's true, but he did have decent choreography, but 
yeah, I'll have to agree in terms of combat ability shown by um, Kaba, Kabe, Kiabe. It was abysmal, but for me, he wasn't a disappointment. And it's kind of weird yeah. for me to say that. I, I just want to make sure I'm very clear that I'm not disappointed in him as a character. I'm disappointed in him in terms of how strong he was. I expected him to be, like, pretty strong. I was going to be a believer that his base form would be incredibly strong. So when he went super Saiyan, he would be, like, up there with God. Yeah. But no, it didn't happen. I guess the final remarks would be, and this is where I can incorporate here as well. Yeah. Most, most of, nah. Only a few, actually. Like, half. Half of the Universe 6 fighters had special moves. You know, Botama had that ability to tank yeah. um, moves. He has his um, ability to skip time by 0.1 yeah, seconds. Yeah, I think, I think uh, the subs I watched, they called it the time leap. Yeah, the time leap. I, f- I forgot the actual um, Japanese name. I think it's it, Tokotobashi. It, Tokotobashi. It really rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Say, say, say that as many times as possible, Tokotobashi. But, yeah. um, like, they all have special powers. Frost had a special weapon which was flopped it com- you know the needle it really didn't work um Kabe Kabe Kyabe didn't have much of a special ability just the fact that he can adapt really well yeah. and of course Mageta had his whew, unique special abilities right there yeah just his whole race in general was his special ability yeah but then at the same time we can we can both agree that hit was hit was not a disappointment right at all no because unlike the other fighters he wasn't like here my special power once you get around that, I'm weak as hell. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, this he's guy can still, do, like, actually knock out, has the physical power to knock out a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. That's true. So, yeah, he's not thinking. So, how many is that? That's, like, um, out of the five fighters, how many have been disappointments? And how many have been, um, okay, uh, for me, Botamo, yeah. disappointment, right? And the next one was uh, Frost. Yeah. You said he wasn't all. No, I I said I think Frost was disappointing. Yeah, um, I I agree as well. Frost is a disappointment. Magetta. Magetta? No, not a disappointment. Ah, awesome awesome character. But Akaba, you know, I already said my. So I already said I, so I, I'm like you... split with him. He's disappointing in terms of strength, but I love his character. So yeah, pretty much he's a disappointment for you. I don't think it was a disappointment for me because I did enjoy the choreography. Yeah. And of course, Hit, we unanimously agree that... Yeah, that's not even a debate. Yeah, so... I mean, that's, that, that's he, our he, he, he pretty much took out Vegeta in like one real punt. Yeah, and he's, he's creating quite the entertaining fight. Yeah, and he appeared to be the final villain, so of course he has to be awesome. Yeah, the final fight, yeah. But, it's good, uh, though. yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed... Uh, remember to check definitely check out Dindy Domain channel. Link will be in the description box down below. And you know, like, comment, subscribe, tell us your thoughts in the comment section. And remember, guys, above all else, to have a great day. Bye.